Here in this section we're going to be talking about rounding decimals. And really if you remember how we rounded decimals, or rounded rather um, with whole numbers, then this won't be any different because our rules for rounding do not change. It, we're just going to be rounding a, a different type of number. But other than that the rules of rounding will not change. Remember it was all hinged on place value whenever we did it with the whole numbers and we learned that we were supposed to look one place to the right to see what we were supposed to do. So here was your rules that we that I just copied out of um, what we had went over back in that section. The rules said if the place to the right is five or more then we round up. If it was four or less we left the number alone that is never going to change. Those are your rules for rounding and it doesn't matter what you're rounding, those are your rules. So uh, let's look and see what we're going to do here. Again, place value is going to be crucial. So this one says round each number to the place indicated. We're going to round 16 and all of this <laughs> to the nearest tenth. Well, if we're going to round to the nearest tenth, the tenth position is that first position to the right of the decimal. So in order to round, we have to look one place to the right. If this number is five or more, it tells us to round up. If it's four or less, then we just leave the number alone. So in this case, this is a nine. That says that we're going to end up rounding that eight up. We're going to round that up one digit to a nine and now it is rounded to the nearest tenth spot. Now this is where rounding with decimals is slightly different than rounding whole numbers. If we had rounded, if this had been a whole number and we had rounded to this position we would have had to put zeros for the remaining digits. When it comes to decimals we don't, we just drop them off because it doesn't matter whether we had 0.9 or 0 0.900. Those are the exact same numbers but point nine is a number to the tenth position. So that's all we want if it says round to the nearest tenth. We only want it to the tenth place. Let's try another one. This one says we're going to round this number to the nearest thousandth. Well again, we need to know our place value. So this would be tenths, hundredths, thousandths. The six is in the thousandth position. So we're going to look one space to the right of it to figure out what to do. Since this is a 4, that says that we're going to leave the 6 as is. So our number then would be 0.956. That's 956 thousandths. So now we're rounded to the nearest thousandth position. <laughs> 